really want one of those. I mean, you don't. So sweet. <laughs> what is she doing? An absolute mess. Miss Graham. No, that's me. That's her, obviously. I'm fresh as a fucking daisy. Miss Graham, you're here for hysterectomy, the... yes. I've got chronic endometriosis. She's Hyster... keeping her ovaries, though. Uh, well, that's what a hysterectomy is. Or she'd also be having a bilateral salpingoophorectomy. I know I signed my consent, but I really don't want one of those things. I think I had several in Ibiza. Does it come with creme de mont? Your sister, is it? Can go along with you to anesthesiology. I'll be back in a few minutes. You're going to be all right. Well, you should be having everything out. Well, that's not a cure. That's not what I want, OK? This is just so I can try and have something resembling a normal life again. I want to be a mum. I just have to keep that option open. You may end up considering all this yourself, so... Good night, then, was it? I know you're being sardonic, but it was actually so, so good. And what date was this? Number three. Timed it to perfection. Sorry I'm late. It's OK. Would you like to share something? Sure. I'll let you choose. I hope you don't mind it. I really wanted to fuck him. And you know what it's like. You can't be caught out unprepared. You have to let these things happen naturally. Let the romance seep into every corner. And it was a viable night. Yeah. Narrowed it down. 14-day window, approximately seven days to seduce him without being in pain and or pre or post bleeding like a French abattoir at Christmas. Anyway, looks like you're a lot closer to utilising your uterus than I am. Not all the sex. It was disgusting how into me he was. <laughs> So you managed it then? Managed it? Mate, I nailed it. You've got something on your shirt. Do you know that the largest sexual organ in the body, the female body, well, my body, is the brain? I fuck with my brain. Which is lucky because the rest of me is almost certainly fucked to literal shit. Oh, my God, what happened? Nothing. No, it was great. I'm a sexual being who just got dicked. Mm -hmm. This is what a Botticelli looks like after. Drink it in. Nice and calm now, ladies. I may also have bled a touch on his Georgian chair. Well, didn't put a towel down before or anything. Did I fuck put a towel down? Why am I a Jack Russell Terrier? Do you know what happens, Jack? No, not to me. Not on his 18th century walnut. Chair. Why should you? I'm like a menstruating terrorist. What? What did he say? I don't know. 
He's an adult. And I bled on his adult furniture. <laughs> You didn't tell him? Gently does it, Claire. Oh, you're so... What? Counting backwards, ten, nine... You're a eight. fucking idiot. Wait, what? Claire? I love you too. Shit, she can't hear me, can she? No, she can't. Fuck! Um, I have a, oh, I have a gynecological problem. <clears throat> yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, it feels much more like I'm shitting my cervix. Yeah, no, that would be great. No, perfect. I'll be there. Thank you. I think I've had a cyst burst. And you have... Should be on your notes. I don't want to talk about it. Well, that's not going to work. Ah, you have endometriosis. There was an updated consultation paper on this recently. I haven't had time to read it yet. And suspected adenomyosis. Yes, it is common to have both. So, you were on the pill... Yeah, since I was about four. Not that I was supposed to tell anyone. And then you had the copper coil? Yeah. Right, well, that is the worst thing you could have done. It aggravates it. Don't think that's actually true. And it took them about a decade to figure out what was wrong with me. Obsessed with my bowel movements, so they were. Well, how are you? Mesmerising. Thanks for asking. Oh, OK. Well, let's take a look, shall we? Sorry, can I just... Try the marina coil for your endometriosis? You don't need to keep saying it. I couldn't have that fitted. Ah, some insertion issues then. You've had a cyst pop. When was the last time you had intercourse? Oh, I've stuffed the donut three times since being here. In the last 24 hours. And did you find it problematic? It's very common with your condition. But sex doesn't necessarily have to mean intercourse, you know. There's foreplay. Uh, Massage, masturbation, fondling, even. It can be common in the middle of your cycle for a cyst to burst. Now, I obviously want you to keep an eye on that. So, you have a condition where your balls are essentially in this here device. And I'm gonna squeeze them and squeeze them. Squeezing commence. Really? Yes. And you don't know what causes it? Nope. And when will it end? It won't. Not unless you want to have them lobbed off. Castration, let's call it. So no pitter-patter of Tony of Butsies, and it's not really a cure. Would you like that? No. But, wait, wasn't it first diagnosed in around 1860? Yes. What exactly is your point? Well, good grief, exactly that. Something must be done. Painkillers? Yeah. OK. Thanks. Do 
some chilies on. Sorry, hi. Any idea if Claire Graham is out of surgery? How is she? She's... well, you can go up and see her shortly. Unfortunately, the extent of the damage was worse than we thought, so... we had to take everything. Both ovaries as well. The good news is... I'm sorry, but I realize... We... Don't fucking touch me! What did you do? Kick the shit out of the plastic yucca. <sighs> Have you spoken to him? Absolutely not. You're being really dumb. It will never let you be. Not until it takes everything. Sorry, I shouldn't complain. I don't have an Ellie as bad as you. Of course you can, you're funny. You're shitty. No one gets it. You're allowed to be miserable. You're allowed to bleed on a shitting chair. <laughs> I bled on your chair. Hey.